going everybody so the new dustline dlc has dropped for rainbow six siege now a lot of this is going to be available to everyone and there is a lot to talk about i'm only going to talk about it briefly i don't want to keep you guys for too long but let's have a look so first of all we have two new operators now at the moment these are only going to be available to people who have the season pass the first guy is blackbeard who has a mountable shield for his weapon now this is a clear see-through shield that's basically going to be stopping headshots from any target head-on now this does not protect you from behind or from the side or from top so you want to keep an eye out on the top of those roofs and things when you're walking around outside keep an eye out for flanking routes and things like that but even then this is a huge uh just a huge set of defense for an offensive operator now um if you can restrict yourself the corridors you can be much careful leaning around if you want to go slower if you want to take a good flanking route into the objective rooms and things like that this is the perfect guy to do it with stopping those headshots is going to be really uh, such a big change to the game. That's going to be so uh, freaky being a defender, especially in games like Hostage and Bomb and things like that. Uh, if you've got that one guy crouching, coming down the corridor, or leaning around the corner with a shield in front of him, it's going to be tricky to see how people start, uh, you know, trying to combat this in the sense that when you're up against guys with shields, generally cheap people want to use C4 or something like that because you can't take them out. But when it's just restricted to the headshots, I don't know. We'll have a look. It'll be really interesting. The other girl is Valkyrie, and she is on defense. Uh, and now she has her own mountable security cameras, and these can be placed anywhere. They can be placed outside, which is a cool thing to do. I'll be wondering to see how many people uh, are going to take the time to run outside of the, uh, not the, the, of the objectives, but of the actual buildings themselves to stick a camera up where people aren't expecting it, to see where people are rushing in from. That'd be a really cool idea. Will it be worth your time? I don't know. We'll see. We'll have a bit of a muck around now. You do need the season pass for these guys at the moment. They will be available to everyone for eventually. However, I think it'll be about a week or two. Uh, and then it'll probably cost you a lot of renown to buy that. So start saving up now. However... Even then, there is more things that you can start putting your renown towards. So the first thing is uh, little chains to your weapons. Now these are like dog tags, little symbols, little just little medallions that will hang from your weapon. Uh, you can buy plenty of them. You can unlock them. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you played ranked uh, before this DLC came out, you'd be getting a free dog tag anyway. Um, and these will be hanging off your gun in game and in menu. So that's pretty cool. You can also have more customization to your actual operators. Uh, things like face paint and things like that is now available to make them look absolutely awesome it's really cool uh, new paints for your weapons you are now able to customize between games uh, so now if you finish one round you've come back in but you're not feeling the holographic sight you don't like the fact you had the suppressor on a weapon then that's fine between rounds hop onto your operator switch around the weapon attachments and things like that you know you know you don't have to leave the game to actually do make any changes like that anymore which is awesome finally here thank god and of course the new map border so this is a i wouldn't say huge map but at the same time this is such this is probably one of the densest most destructible maps we have in the game yet so this house is only two levels tall but that's really all we need uh because this map is just um oh man it's just completely destructible basically i don't think we've had a map so destructive all the uh the map is just a maze. I could not really find my way around it at first. So what you're looking at now is my first and only game that I've played on this new map. Uh, this is the only game I've played. Now this map, when you're looking through casual and rank, will be put up against, uh, put higher on the rank. So you should be able to play it more. It should be easier to find a game on this map than any other map. Um, but it's, it is going to take quite a while to learn my way around it. So, uh, one thing I wanted to show you was me using Pulse. Now, I didn't pull it off quite exactly, but it was actually me and a couple of other teammates that took out two or three guys in this game because I had gone Pulse, because this, uh, this map is so destructible in the sense that pretty much every wall, every roof, everything you see can be blown up, which just makes for so many more movements and tactics, especially in just a two-level house. It really is hard to get around, but there are so many walls and destructions, so going Pulse is going to allow you to to see where they are shooting through walls being more prepared um, you know it's it's gonna be a really cool map for pulse specifically now thermite is gonna be pretty cool however I don't think it's gonna be as necessary as some of the maps because reinforcements um, are probably not gonna fill in everything it's just gonna be learning your way around the map which probably will take you know 20 to 30 games or so um, because it is a really dense map it's gonna be really tricky to find our way around and then also at the very end of the game the winning team squad will be shown off so that you can uh, look awesome with your teammates displaying your new weapon camos your new dog tags your new face paint whatever you whatever the flip you want to do it looks really cool but anyway if you guys have had a go let me know what you think in the comments below be sure to leave a like on the video uh, i'll leave link in the description to all of the patch notes if you want to go through everything that they've given you and i'll catch you later tk out have a good one guys